All right, time to talk to Sonia, Brian Insurance Agency, about storm safety, about what you need to do to be prepared. Being March the 1st, today is the officially the first day of North Texas storm season. That's right. We didn't have a winter this year to speak of, but regardless of that, it is fixing to be time for spring and that while spring brings a lot of things that are really nice, like flowers blooming and, and pretty weather, it also can bring some pretty nasty storms in our area. So I thought today we would talk about that and just remind people of things that they can do to be safe during the bad weather that we may experience. Yeah, we're pretty lucky in North Texas. We get tornadoes rolling around 300 mile an hour, throwing baseball size hail at us and uh making uh, havoc all over the place. You don't know when they're going to hit. You don't know when they're going to hit. We just got to be prepared in case they do. That's right. I mean, the one thing about tornadoes, which is different from other types of weather, is that they're very difficult to predict. They happen very quickly. So you need to have a plan before it happens because more than likely you're not going to have time to think about it or talk about it or most importantly to talk to your family about it before it, after after you know it's coming. So uh, take some time, sit down, talk to your family, make sure that you all have a plan for if we do have some bad weather that you'll, you'll know where everybody's supposed to be, where's the safest place to be in the house. If you get separated, where you'll meet up, that kind of thing. Because, like, like we said, it can sure happen fast and not much time to prepare. You know, it's sad that Bill Paxton passed away. Um, but, you know, he was in that movie Twister. And one of the things that came from that movie is about getting under overpasses or getting under bridges and things like that, seeking shelter where they tell you not to do that sort of thing. Uh, if you're out like in a baseball softball field or if you're out at a fair or something where you're out in an open area, maybe driving your car, you come across this kind of stuff, you need to look ahead, find a, find a place that you can go just in case something like this happens. Yeah, you know, we do think about uh, if we're out in our vehicles that, you know, like you said in that movie and, and you've heard people say that you should maybe uh, find shelter under an overpass, but that's actually a really dangerous um, Tornadoes, winds could blow you out from underneath that overpass or that it could collapse on you. So um, really the best thing, I think they say, if you really are in a situation where there is nowhere else, is just to get you know, in the ditch and hopefully cover cover your head and that kind of thing. But it's better to realize that that kind of weather is coming and get to a safe place, a building with a safe area without a lot of glass around it. Uh, in your home, they say, obviously, you know, if you have a basement or if you have a, a storm shelter, that's the best place. But if you don't, if you get into a uh, to the inside part of your house that doesn't have windows about around it, whether a closet or a bathroom or that kind of thing, to uh, to be safe there until the storm passes. One thing about storm safety is it uh, knowing ahead of time uh, what you plan on doing, like getting in a ditch or the lowest point you can find. But but think about these things, research it ahead of time before you get into this situation. Yeah, and I cannot stress enough to talk to your family. I'll never forget, this was many, many years ago, our son, who's almost 30, was in high school and he wasn't old enough to drive. So it was a good 15 years ago. Um, I was at my office, which is on the second floor of the Sierra Bank building, and he was, uh, I knew because school was going on, and on this one day a week, uh, one of the churches fed the kids pizza over down in the square, and we had really bad weather, and they even had all of us in the bank building go down to get into the vault area, and I was frantically trying to get a hold of Jake, who was perfectly fine in a safe place, but I didn't know it, and it's really smart, you know, to teach your family, teach your kids, let's all let each other know where we are if, as much as possible. And then also, if there is a storm afterwards, if you don't have access to your telephone, if we've had so much damage that there is no phone service or Internet service, everybody have a place to meet to make sure that everyone's okay. Another huge thing is if you do have a storm shelter, is notifying somebody ahead of time that you're going to do that storm shelter in case your home or car or something else falls over the door of that thing and you're trapped. Yeah, um, I know I have a friend that the home that she used to live in, their storm cellar was underneath their carport, and that worried me to death all the time that if something happened that they were going to be locked in there. But, of course, she assured me that she wasn't worried because she knew I'd come check on her because I was so worried about it. But, but yeah, that's true. Make sure that, that people know that you do have a storm shelter. People do look for you, check for you. Um, and then let's talk about before the storm hits. And, Rick, you could probably educate us way more than I can. The difference between a tornado watch and a tornado warning. 
Well, a watch is, is issued by the National Weather Service way ahead of time of any kind of storm saying that the conditions are favorable for the uh, formation of a tornadic type of weather. And that uh, the area that you're in, you could possibly see one of these storms, but the watch is only in effect in case, uh, to let everybody know that the, uh, the, the conditions are favorable. Now, a tornado warning is, uh, is, is basically the tornado has been spotted, it has on the ground, or it's up in a cloud, and that the area you're in has been, um, has been, uh, you know, deem that uh, it is a dangerous place to be. I know one time I had a weather guy tell me that um, the difference between a watch and a warning is like from the Wizard of Oz. A watch is whenever the the lady was on her bicycle riding down the street uh, saying she was going to catch Toto compared to when she was on her broom flying through the air. So if you think of it in that sort of a way, a watch is just, hey, keep an eye on it. A warning is, uh uh-oh, it's happening. Yeah, that's a good way to remember it. And um, I think the last thing, just remember that tornado weather cannot be forecasted. Uh, Again, you know, there might be conditions that are favorable, but it's not like a hurricane, for example, where they know days ahead of time. Of course, those are just very destructive storms, and I'm not saying that a hurricane's not serious, but it's just a, a tornado is just so different. So, again, be safe, keep your family safe. And uh, I do want to add that if you are a client of Bryan Insurance Agencies and there is a bad storm and you have damage, of course, you you probably already know how to get in touch with us, but you also can always call the radio station and let them know and they will get in touch with us to let us know that you have had severe damage and need our assistance right away. That's right, because we will be on top of the uh, weather at any time uh, it comes to the area. Stay tuned. We have more coming up, uh, some uh, great tips uh, from Brian Insurance. And if you need to get a hold of them, how do you do it? Well, you can call us, 940-549-2525. You can come visit us. We're on the second floor of the Sierra Bank Building in downtown Graham. Or visit us on the web, www.brianbrianins.com. Stay tuned. We have more coming at 8 o'clock hour. Don't you go away.